Hey everybody, this is John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle and today we are going to talk about quick number closing, okay, in these situations where you have a very limited set of time. Okay, I apologize, my eyes are still infected and a bit fucked up, hence the robotic glow back at you on the camera. So before we continue, please press the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. Make sure you press the notification bell to get alerted of my new videos five days per week, okay? So let me just give an example of how this would work and then you can translate it over to any type of situation. Okay, let's say you walk into the elevator of an apartment building. This is a common situation that I run into personally. So you walk into the elevator, okay, let's say you're on like the 20th floor for instance. Okay, you go into the elevator, you're going down. Now let's say the door opens and a hot chick walks in. All right, so now it doesn't matter what floor it is. Let's say a hot chick walks in at like floor seven or something like this. Okay, now you have this limited time window Okay, very, very, very limited amount of time in order to talk to her, win her over, so to speak, or at least gain enough investment and compliance to get her phone number. So how do you handle this situation? Okay, or, or say you're on the subway and the, the chick's about to get off the subway. Any situation where you have limited amounts of time, how do you build up enough value so you can get her phone number? Okay, so what I will do is, I'm conditioned to do this, like as soon as she comes into the elevator, I'll be like, hey, what's up? I just moved in. Okay, we throw a bunch of parties. I DJ around the city, we throw a bunch of parties. Let me invite you some time, okay? And as I'm saying this, I'm taking my phone out. Are you six, five, whatever, the, the two area codes of the city, okay? I've talked about in other videos where you should say, are you this area code or this area code? Okay, so in San Diego, for instance, it was 858 or 609. Okay, are you 609 or 858? Okay, you're putting your whole act, so to speak, as your presentation value into like, 10 to 20 seconds. All right, so to reiterate, the girl walks in. Okay, I'm immediately going for my phone. I'm not like, hey, give me your phone number. I'm just like getting ready to bring it out, okay? Because you you literally sometimes only have like five to 10 seconds, okay? And you, you want to capitalize on that limited amount of time you have. So let's say she walks in the elevator. Hey, what's up? I just moved here. Um, I'm going to be throwing a bunch of parties in the building. I did it around the city. I can invite you some time. What was your name? Oh, cool. Okay, so are you 858 or 609? Okay, boom. All right, cool, how you up? My name's John, nice to meet you. All right, see you later. And like, I've done that before in front of friends and they're like, dude, what the fuck, holy shit. Like, what the fuck was that? Because you're literally sometimes getting it in five to 10 seconds, all right? And if you were just like, hey, uh, we should hang out sometime. She's be like, oh no, no, thank you, sorry. You know, like, because you came off as a weirdo or you came off as a creep or you came off like you were really wanting something. All right, and especially if it's a hot chick, she's used to getting hit on all the time. So you really need to make yourself stand out. Okay, the way that I do that is I just say, oh, I throw a party. It sounds like, you know, I'm gonna invite her for some social gatherings. And it's just assumed the whole time with the frame that she's, of course, gonna wanna hang out with me. Now, when I text her, do I actually say, oh, you should come to this party or this party or this event? No, of course not. I say, hey, what's up? It's John from the elevator. Oh, hey, how's it going, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we should get a drink during the week when you're free, okay? Then I'm meeting up with her, boom, one-on-one -on -one for coffee or for a drink, okay? It's not some party request or whatever, and they don't give a shit. Like, the, she, you know, it's less pressure for her to give her number under the pretense that you guys will hang out at some social gathering and that you're this cool dude that's having parties all the time. And you could invite her to a party, that's totally fine, but that the logistics are gonna be way out of whack in terms of closing, all right? It's not gonna be a one-on-one -on -one situation where you're building up rapport, building up sexuality, and then closing the deal. All right, so let's quickly break down like the components of what's happening in that little limited interaction. Okay, when you have a time compression and time constraints, you need to compress the entire interaction. Let's break down exactly what's going on. Okay, first of all, I'm introducing myself. Hey, what's up? My name is John, I just moved into the building. Okay, hey, what's up? My name is so-and-so, okay? Now you need to give her some kind of reason without having a long interaction to give the phone number. Okay, so my way in to both cement value and you know social proof, I'm saying, hey, what's up? I throw events in the city. Let me get your info real quick. Okay, and as a side note, I do the same shit for the girls that are dancing, the go-go dancers at the clubs. Okay, so let's say you walk into a nightclub and there's like a nine or a nine plus on a stage or on a platform okay, and she's dancing and most dudes are like hey you're sexy she's gonna be like yeah thank you fuck off right or anyone that tries to have a conversation with her she she literally only has like five to ten seconds to talk to you maybe maybe even less all right so for those situations and i'll go over this really quickly i'll be like 
Keep in mind the music is really, really loud. I'll just make this motion, like come here really quick. And a lot of times she'll shake her head no, or she'll just kind of dismiss me. And I'll be like, like basically mouthing the words like one second, one second, one second. Okay, so a lot of times she'll come over and just for a second lean down and I will have my phone out, okay? And I'll be like, I throw events, I want to hire you, put in your number. I can guarantee you she's probably not giving her number out to anyone else that night or across multiple nights of working, she's never giving her number out. But this works, and why does it work? Okay, you're not coming across as a customer, you're not coming across as a dude that's like just catcalling her based on her looks or just saying some cheesy lines, okay? You're, and guys will be like, well that's lying, well, you know, whatever. Okay, then don't do it, it works. The point is, this girl is gonna be receptive to that, and it's gonna be that five second interaction, and then when you have her number, hey, what's up, it's John, the DJ that just moved here. Uh, what are you up to during the week? Oh, this and that. Okay, cool, we should get a drink. And then you just treat it like a normal date, okay? It rarely will come up, oh, well, what about the event, okay? If it does come up, just say like, oh, we're planning it out, like the details aren't set in stone yet. We're still trying to figure out all the details. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. That girl, like no one, no one is approaching her right, right? Like guys can't have a long conversation with her. If anyone cat calls her or acts like a typical customer, she's just gonna blow them off really quickly. Okay, so when you come in and you stand out from that crowd and you say, oh, I throw events, I hire girls to dance at events, let me hit you up. Oh, you know, and if she gives you objections, like, oh, I only work here, like, oh, I don't have any extra time. Well, it's gonna be like a one-off event, it won't really impact your schedule. Or like, oh, it's not a big deal, like, you know, we hire girls to, to dance at events all the time, like, let me just hit you up about this one event, or let me just send you the details. It's just a really quick objection answer, and then she'll be open to it. All right, so back to breaking down those component parts. You're introducing yourself, you're cementing value, giving her a reason to give you the phone number, and then you just assume it. You just lock into that frame. So you're taking out the phone, hey, I throw events, I should hit you up sometime, okay? Like, there's even a more compressed version of it. Hey, what's up, I just moved here. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of parties. Let me invite you to the next one. What's your number? Okay, that, that is happening in an even more compressed time scale. Let's say that like you have an extremely limited amount of time, which can happen quite frequently. Hey, what's up, I just moved here. I'm gonna be throwing a bunch of events, or I'm throwing a, a party next weekend. Let me grab your info. Can you put your number in? Boom, she gives you a brief objection. Well, I don't party much. No, it's cool, let me just text the details anyways. If you wanna come, you can come. If not, it's cool. Are you 609 or 858? Boom. So that's pretty much it. I can enumerate a whole bunch of examples when you have a compressed time frame, but just use these principles to guide you, okay? If you're in the elevator, that's my favorite common example. If you're on the subway, if you are, you know, in line at a, at a store or whatever, whenever you have this limited time frame, you wanna boom, work a whole bunch of shit and get the phone number. And I will point out that you can still keep the interaction going after you get the phone number. It's not like, okay, I have the phone number, I need to leave. Right, like if you haven't been interrupted yet, or she doesn't have to move on or whatever, continue with her day, yet you can continue the interaction and make it stronger, okay? So if you haven't been in line, you don't know, there's like a variable time cutoff coming, okay? Hey, what's up, I throw parties in the city, I wanna invite you to the next one, what's your name? Oh, cool, are you 609 or 858? Okay, nice. So what do you do in the city? All right, now, now I'm building more comfort and it's gonna get cut off, but I already have her number. So I'm just making things a little more solid before it's her turn in line and it gets cut off. All right, but what you don't wanna do is go from the other direction and be like, let me build up all this comfort and build up all this rapport. And then, oh, next. Okay, and then she's, she's like, okay, nice meeting you. And she goes off and you're like, hey, but what about your number? And she's like, oh, I, you know, I need to go to the counter now. You know, and you're not gonna be like some weirdo that's like after she's done at the counter, be like, hey, so can we get, you know, cause the buying temperature has dropped down. So make sure when you have any kind of limited time or an unknown amount of time that's probably going to be limited, get the number quickly and then build up comfort with whatever time you have. Okay, in the elevator scenario, let's say that the elevator stopped on like three unexpected floors and I already had her number, I would still just keep filling in banter. All right, but normally it's gonna hit the ground floor quickly and I'm not gonna have time to do that. The other thing I will touch on briefly is objections, all right? So granted, this is gonna be a 10 second interaction or a 20 second interaction or a 30 second interaction. And sometimes she might be like, no, no, it's, a, it's cool. All right, or no, no, like, I'm not interested. If it's a legitimate thing, like she has a legitimate boyfriend or, you know, something that's not beatable, okay, that's not a big deal, okay? You, you can still, you can always like take a step back and be like, no, it's just as 
just as friends or I have a girlfriend too or you know whatever but that's a lot of times not going to convert either she's really in a relationship or she's just not interested in either case your odds go way down but if she's like no no I'm cool or like thanks to the offer but I'm good or you know something along those lines you can be like no it's really cool like we, we have these parties and it's really fun I'm new here and I just really want to meet you know, cool people in the building, etc. Like, I promise not to stalk you, ha ha ha. Just something that shows you are normal and cool and looking to meet people, all right? So, no, it's cool, like, I wanna get as many neighbors as I can to my parties as possible, ha ha ha. Or no, it's cool, like, you seem cool and, you know, you live in the same building as me, we should definitely hang out sometime, right? Like, I promise not to fucking blow up your phone, ha ha ha. Can I get your number real quick? All right, but you wanna go right back to the call to action, so to speak, in marketing terms to get them to enter that information, okay? Because time is running out. You can't be like, well, uh, what, you know, what were you, what were you thinking? Or, or what's, you know, what's the issue here? Like, you know, and, and you can't have this long interaction because you're pressed for time. So you wanna have like some quick little, like witty retort. And then again, okay, so let me describe your info really quick. Just real quick. You know, I promise I'm not gonna hit you up all the time. Just next time we throw a party, I'll hit you up. Or like, you know, let me invite you for coffee. Just during the week, it's not, you know, no pressure. It won't be a big deal. Let me just hit you up. Can I just have your number really quick? You don't wanna make it come off as needy or forceful or desperate, okay? But at the same time, you don't have a whole lot of time to have a big back and forth. So any kind of like resistance or negative reaction that she throws at you, you're gonna quickly answer it and then be like, no, it's cool, like, just keep it low key, casual, no pressure. Let me just grab your info really quick. You know, I don't know when the next time I'll run into you again. I, I might not see you for months, ha ha ha. Boom. Well, that's it for a quick number closing. That will add to volume and, you know, guys will fucking hate and say like, oh, well, those are weak number closes. Like the interaction was too short. She didn't have enough comfort to report. You would be surprised, right? At the end of the day, this is all a numbers game. You need skill, of course. Skill makes a huge difference. At the end of the day, you can have an hour interaction and the chicken can ghost you for like a numerous set of reasons. Here's another cool thing about these quick interactions. You don't have much time to like fuck it up, so to speak. All right, so it's not like you had 10 minutes or 20 minutes to like make mistakes or for it to fuck up. It's a, this clear, quick, concise interaction where your value is high and she's like, oh cool, he's a cool guy, I might wanna hang out with him sometime. All right, whereas in a normal interaction for 10 or 20 or more minutes, She's gonna be like, oh, I didn't like when he did that, or I didn't like when he did that, or I didn't like how he reacted to that, or the conversation fell off and you know, he got kind of boring, or any number of mistakes that can happen don't happen in that quick interaction. You don't have time to have a longer interaction, right? so you have no choice. It's better to get the number and be like, hey, we should meet up, then be like, hello, nice to meet you, I'm new in the building, and then hope you see her again, okay? So if you like this video, make sure you press the subscribe button, press the like button below, press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos every week. This is John Anthony, take care.